Good morning, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. We're so glad you joined us in this little corner of God's vineyard here on the earth. Oh, it's great to be with you guys. We look forward to this every day. It's going to be an amazing day. Just a fabulous day. Father, thank you so much for this day. This is a day we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Stuff going on. We're still going to rejoice and be glad. Right, guys? Yes. Okay. Actually, this morning, the Lord gave me a, a word. I mean, a literal word. And the word is occupy. And then he gave me scriptures to share. Okay, I'm going to be reading out of the book of Numbers. And I'm. this is the story of Moses and Aaron and the Israelites and God sending them in to go. The spies went in to check out the, the land across the Jordan, the land that flows with milk and honey that, that the Lord was giving to them. And if you remember the story, they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel. I am in the New King James Version. Chapter 13, verse 26. I'm going to make sure. Yeah, verse 26 is where I'm going to start. I'm just going to read a little bit. Now they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel in the, wist, in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. They brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. Then they told him and said, We went to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea and along the banks of the Jordan. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We're not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants, and all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. There we saw the giants, the descendants of Anak come from the, came from the giants, and we were like grasshoppers in our own sight. And so we were in their sight. Wow. So God sent them to go spy out the land that they were going to go in to possess. This was the land that God gave them, promised to them. So 12 spies go in, 10 come back with a bad report. Two, Joshua and Caleb say, no, oh, no, wait, wait. They're the only two who, because they were not afraid and were willing to go, they were the only two that were able to go into the promised land of those 12 because they believed God. And and when we look at the scripture, I love this. I love this part in verse 30. Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. Caleb was telling them, we need to occupy what God's given us to occupy. We can't look at the giants in the land any more than today you and I can look at the giants in our land. The things that make uh, succeeding in anything God's called us to seem insurmountable. God knows what he's doing when he gives us assignments. He knows what he's doing when he sends us to do something. It's not his desire for us to be fearful. 
It is not his desire for us to turn away and say, well, I, we can't do that because of this reason, that reason, the other. If he's called us to something, then he has and will continue to equip us in whatever ways we need to be able to accomplish what he's called us to. But we have a part in that. And our part is to step into and occupy the place he's called us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that feels a little overwhelming. Sometimes the place where we're supposed to occupy has giants like, uh, like fear or loss or challenges we just don't even we don't even see how we can handle them. But just again, like Caleb said, let me say it again here, read it. Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and take possession for we are well able to overcome it. He knew they were able to overcome it because God had called them to it. And sometimes when we see the thing God's calling us to and we're fearful, the wisest thing we can do is to go up at once and take possession. The enemy wants to scare us off, you guys. He wants to keep us from doing what God's called us to do. We have to be willing to press in. We have to be willing to stand and say, I, this is what my father wants from me and I'm not going to let anything stand in my way. A lot of times if we sit around and think about it, then the enemy can play with our minds and we get scared or we can second guess or when God gives us something to do and he says, go do it, then we go do it. We don't wait. We don't, we don't mess around. If the Lord said, go do it, and we know we're supposed to go do it, then we go do it. We occupy. We press in when things are hard and we occupy, we stand faithful to what we've been given to do. Just like the Lord's called us to stand and be faithful to the time he's put us in now. We're supposed to be occupying every day. We can't afford to abandon our post. First of all, we don't wanna be disobedient. And secondly, there are reasons he's put us where he's put us and told us to occupy where we stand because it's not just about us. It's about him and what he wants and the people that he's still calling and the people that he still wants to equip and the testimonies that he still wants to have go out and the love that he still wants shared and the giving that he's still looking for in our hands that needs to go out into the lives of others. The prayers that still need to be prayed Occupy. Occupy, guys. We have to occupy. We can't abandon our posts. We can't be the watchmen on the tower that are supposed to be watching for the, for the uh, enemy's army to come against us and then just get lazy and turn around and walk away, lay down, take a nap, give up. We have got to stand until the moment our Father says, you're done, you're done. And hopefully we hear, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for every person that comes to morning sessions to this little corner of your vineyard. We thank you for the things you're doing here, for the encouragement, the refreshing, the strengthening, the hope everything you give us in this place. Bless us to occupy. Unafraid. Resolved to obey our Father, our God, our leader. Thank you, Lord. In the name of our Savior, Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. You guys, the Lord loves his people so much and there are so many he's still calling what we've been called to do all of it different 
every bit of it a gift, all of it a responsibility. Be blessed this day. We love you so very much. We'll see you here tomorrow, okay? Embrace the day the Lord's made. Be, rejoice, be glad in it, and occupy. Bye for now.